Hey guys, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. Today I'm on a wonderful day hike, so I thought I'd take a minute to go over the 10 essential things that you need to tackle any outdoor adventure. While this doesn't replace common sense like leaving your itinerary with someone back at home or choosing an activity that's within your skill set and within your physical abilities, this does certainly help make sure that you get back in one piece. To carry the 10 essentials, I'm using my old search and rescue backpack made by Contera. It has lightweight material and it's just large enough to carry everything that I need. So it's perfect for days when I'm more concerned about speed versus capacity. The number one thing on our list is navigation. The bare minimum, I have a map, compass, and I always have an altimeter on me. The altimeter is great in this mountainous region because you can line up the altitude with a line on the map and pretty easily figure out where you're at within a few hundred yards. Of course, for people who are navigationally impaired, there's also GPS systems. The next up is water. For me, because I have a lot of streams and rivers, my main concern is having a water filter and a cleaning kit for it. The Sawyer Mini is great because it's lightweight, works pretty easily, and there's no moving parts. I also have a collapsible bottle made by Hydropack, but you can also use a hydration system as well. My main water bottle is a Nalgene with the paracord loop and duct tape. The paracord loop allows you to fasten it to other items such as your backpack so it doesn't fall out, and the duct tape ensures that you always have something for minor repairs. And as an added bonus, I also have a titanium pot, which barely weighs anything, and you can use it to boil water and cook. The next thing on our list is extra food. Mainly, I want calorie-dense food that's not going to go bad while it's sitting in your backpack. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, it just needs to be able to give you enough time for search and rescue to get to you, which could take a while if the ceiling is low. The next thing up is sun protection and extra clothing. I choose long pants and long shirts because it helps to cover your skin. Some sort of insulation layer is also a good idea, and while you're at it, it's good to have a weather barrier as well like Gore-Tex. I have another video on how to layer, which includes some thermal imagery, and it's worth checking out. I have a sniper veil, which is great for bugs and also helps keep you cool, especially if you dunk it in some water. And last but not least, I have sunscreen. Nothing looks better in your 50s than sunscreen in your 20s. Of course, you also need a way to start fire. The cheapest and most common thing is a Bic lighter. Here I've added a zip tie around the button just for safety and to make sure that the button doesn't get pressed and leak while it's on use. The sleeve that this Bic lighter is in is called the Lighter Bro. It has a pair of scissors, a small screwdriver, and also a small knife. And you'll also want something that doesn't take fuel at all and will work even when wet. This one happens to be made by Topps Knives and has a fire steel and also magnesium so you can light even wet tinder. One of the most often overlooked pieces is a first aid kit. In mine, I have some basic bandages, tape, and some sterile dressing. Things like splints can be made from things that you find in the wilderness, but these things are hard to replace. Of course, I have medications such as Benadryl and a tourniquet just in case things get really crazy. When I went to the Amazon jungle, I had a large kit for the expedition, but you'll probably want to stick with something more basic and it's always good to have at least a little bit of insect repellent. Something that can't be overemphasized enough is illumination. It can either be handheld or head mounted. This will help you navigate in the dark and also signal to other people at night. This headlamp for me is a big winner. It's lightweight, not only that, it also has three sets of lights, a main spot, a flood, and also has a red mode. The spot and flood have the ability to dim as well. For number nine, we have shelters. Since I'm going lightweight, I'm just gonna go with a standard space blanket. But you might go for a hammock or a tarp. And last but not least is a knife and repair items. I'm not gonna try and sell you on which type of knife to get, but it needs to be durable and you need to have put it through its tests.
At the bare minimum, it's good to have some duct tape and some extra 550 cord. You can add some zip ties for a little bit of razzle dazzle. The gear that I'll bring is all dependent on the environment that I'm gonna go into. That being said, since I have viewers from all over the world, I would love for you guys to chime in down in the comment section. And if you have a 10 Essentials kit already put together, let us know what you guys have. Let us know what environment that you're operating in so that people can start building their kits and being safe out in the wilderness. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, social media, and other content. But as always, take care out there. Bye.